Oh, hey guys, Boston fan here. Um, I think this is the first video that I'm gonna post in 2024, though I've made several other videos that I have filmed beforehand um, and just haven't gotten around to posting it. But today I wanted to make this video. It's a little mail day video. Actually, it might be a large mail day video, I don't know. Um, just a couple things that I picked up in the mail or that I've gotten in the mail. Um, first is something that I purchased um, and it's for, the, for you guys. I just wanna put it out there. Um, who collect autographs but might not have cards of people or collect people that aren't in the mainstream. It's um, the autographcard.com, the autograph card. And they have all different varieties. So I purchased some because I'm looking to expand uh, to my TTMing to some non-sports people that I admire or, or think highly of. Um, and I just want something to send other than an index card. So pack of 25 cards, they're on good stock. Um, and look, they take signatures really well. Um, $10 plus it was $10 shipping. So it's a little high to ship. Um, so 20, I paid $20. I don't even think they charge me tax. Um, but they're really cool to add. Um, this isn't any kind of paid video. I just, I like these cards. I've gotten them before. Um, and so those came in the mail. And then Picker Jim S uh, was doing a giveaway of a Carl Yastrzemski 84 Fleer card. And he had asked a question about one of his previous videos and I answered it and he ended up picking my name. And so he said he's gonna drop the ass in the mail and I'm super excited. It's awesome. I won the Yaz and, and I can't wait to see it. And so, you know, I've been waiting this little pet, you know, figuring it's going to be a nice little bubble mail like this. But what should my wandering eyes should appear? But a freaking huge ass package from Jim. So we're going to open it. I haven't opened it. My daughter's been big bugging me all day. Dad, you got to open the package. You got to open the package. But I wanted to save it for video. So Jim, I have no idea what you sent me. Certainly this can't be just a slab Yastrzemski card. If it is, that's okay. I'm, yeah, obviously I'm not expecting anything. Um, so we'll rip it open and see. I'm gonna rip it off camera, but let's just expedite the process. Maybe I should have cut it first. Uh, Jim is a Red Sox fan like me. If you, I mean, if you're on, if you sub to my channel, you know his channel. Um, he is a Red Sox fan, but what I really appreciate about his channel is that he collects just a plethora of stuff. Um, and I like looking and seeing his videos because you really never know what you're going to see. And you're going to find stuff on his videos that you didn't know you wanted. So recently, I would say a couple months ago, he posted a video. If you found a, um, an Ohio blue tip matchbox from 1955 that had Ted Williams, um, like a little picture painting like a painting of a picture on it and it's just awesome and it, as soon as I saw that I'm like I need to have that and that's like at the top of my list for purchasing purchasing this year um and just you find those kind of things that's what I appreciate about Jim is that he he, he does he's not stuck he's kind of like me he's not stuck in like collecting one thing he's, his interests are all, all over the place in a good way um and you're just going to find stuff that you didn't know you wanted, needed, or were interested in watching his channel. Um, affinity towards the Red Sox always helps. So the first thing he sent me was a Topps Total team set, Red Sox. Whoa, this is cool. Let's see, try to open this. Some of me thinks keep this sealed because I don't know what it is, but... Oh, there's a checklist on the back. Oh, 2005. That's cool. A Royal Folk Shilling. This is awesome. So this is essentially, with a couple exceptions, a 2004 team. And it's got the multiplayer cards. Blaine Neal. Mike Timlin, Alan Embry. I have that card dual signed, actually. So this is the team set. This will be separate than the actual 2005 Tops Total. I love Tops Total in the early 2000s. You've got so many players. So this is fantastic. Jim, thank you. That's awesome. So this is, yeah, the beginning one. All the players here are members of the 2004 team, except for Ramon Vasquez. He was not. Um, and then you got a lot of players that were kind of hanging around. Hanley Ramirez, that'll be either, if it's not his rookie card, it's close. That's pretty cool. I'll put that there. This, my guess, is the Yaz that I won, which I'm super excited about. So it's the 84 Fleer Yaz, and I was interested entering the giveaway because the 84 Fleer Yaz was the first Yastrzemski card that I ever owned as a kid. Um, I remember trading for it with a, for a, with a friend and just being super excited to have an actual Kyle Yastrzemski card. And since then, I have no idea where that card went. Um, it's lost to me. And kind of a bummer. You know, you always want to have your childhood stuff if you didn't sell it. And I most certainly didn't sell it. 
but what happened to it, I I couldn't tell you. So this is the what the contest was for. Uh, in a near mint eight, it's just a beautiful card. Um, I love. I've always loved the picture. Again, this is my first yet, so there's a little bit of nostalgia there. Um, to get it in a high grade of an eight for me, that's a high grade. Um, has its complete stats on the back, which is really cool. I love eighty four Fleer as well. It's just one of those designs that it's really simple, but it's really clean, and I just I I love it. I I want I want to collect this whole set someday. So that was what I won, Jim. Thank you for that. That's awesome. And then we have this giant package. And I have no idea what he hooked me up with. This is so cool. Hi, Alan. Congrats on winning. I should have opened this first. For the 84 Flair, I sent along some other things that I thought you might like as well. Appreciate your support. Take care. Pick a Jim X. Go Red Sox. Yeah, indeed. Though they are being terrible right now. Um, they aren't spending any money, which they should because they're a major market team. And the owners just canceled. They used to have a, an open forum with fans at their winter weekend. They hold every year in, in Springfield, I think it is now. Um, and they just canceled the open forum with the owners, which is just chicken, if you ask me. Um, sorry, I just don't want to damage what's in here. But I can be careful with the box cutter, right? So, Jim, why did you pack it for me, man? man? Whoa. So that's a whole folder of stuff, or a whole thing of stuff. Holy cow. Oh, and the first one is right to my heart, a picture of Willie McGinnis. So that's a beautiful 8x10 of Willie McGinnis. Ted Johnson, who's on the radio here, I love him. He was a hard-hitting linebacker. I never thought he got the credit he deserved um, pre-Super Bowl. 83, my guess is Dion Branch. That's a really nice picture. For Vinatieri, kicking in the snow. This isn't the Raiders game. This snow game would be probably AFC Championship against the Colts. Is my guess. That's a beautiful picture of Vinatieri. Mike Lowell. God, he was awesome for us. Just a throw-in, too, when they traded for Josh Beckett. 400th home run picture of Manny Ramirez. Sorry, I know I'm not getting it on the camera. That's sweet. Oh, this is a great picture. 04 World Series champs. That's awesome. This might be something to look for. Getting signed by a couple players if they come around for signings. That's fantastic. Here you've got the 07... Big pitcher, so Wake, R.I.P., Schilling, Beckett, and Papelbon to close it out. 2000 Red so 2007 Red Sox, World Series champions. It's really cool. Julio Lugo, he's since deceased. J.D. Drew, Big Poppy, one of my favorites. Dice K picture, I remember when they signed him. He flew into the airport a couple miles from my house, actually. All the cameras were there. And then this, I remember them giving these out. They must, might have been in the, one of the newspapers. Um, an uncut sheet of cards. This is really cool. That Ortiz. Super cool right there. Dice K rookie card. Oh, no, it's not a rookie card. Sorry. Um, Pedroia, Ellsbury. So this would be probably 08. Oh, 09. Oh, this is later than I thought. Very cool. Jim, thank you so much for this. So, again, Picker Jim Mass, I'll, I'll put his link. I'll tag him in this. Um, sent me this awesome care package. Thank you so much. Some great pictures. I'm probably going to, at least for that McGinnis, for sure, I'll send out in the mail to try to get that signed. That's a beautiful picture. Um, of course, the Giaz, my first graded Yaz. It'll go right into my graded card box. Um, again, I, I can't thank you enough, Jim, for this awesome giveaway. I don't know what I'm going to do with this 04 set. I don't know if I should open it, look at them, or just keep it sealed. What do you guys think? Should I keep it sealed? My, my thought is keep it sealed, but also cards are meant to be looked at. So I'm not sure. I also like the TTMer in me is like, oh, did any of these guys sign? Maybe I could send it out, but I don't know. But totally awesome, totally unexpected. Again, I was looking for a little package and then got this giant eBay mailer. And my daughter was so excited, so she'll be excited to see all this stuff. Um, took a little long to unbox all of it because there was so much stuff, but Picker Jim S, a great YouTuber, great person in the hobby. And watch his channel if you're just looking for interesting stuff to see that you might not know exists because he finds it and he... You know, we'll display it. He's got a great Kari Strzemski collection. Um, but he collects a lot of stuff that are outside the Red Sox, too. And, and and you know, he likes advertising and things like that. Um, and so I enjoy watching his channel just to see what new item that I'm going to find that I didn't know that I wanted before watching his channel. So, again, cool unboxing or 
whatever it is opening. Very gracious for the giveaway and all the extra stuff. I can't thank you enough, Jim. Everyone, thanks for watching. Go give him a, a, a watch if you haven't already, though I, I don't know how you'd find my channel before his. But um, again, thank you, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.